In this video, I would be walking you through installing the uh, dashboard application called as Monitor, which will uh, let us know the real time uh, status of the self hosted application which you have installed in our Docker container or anywhere else on your local network. Uh, something just like this. So let's get started. So once when you log in to the uh, portainer, click on your local database and then click on container, add container, and give it a name. I just gave as monitor, which is a default, and then the image from the Docker Hub, which is monitor slash monitor. And then the port number, uh, I gave it as 9800, and the container port would be on 80. And this requires uh, three environment variables. So the first one would be PG ID. In my case, it is 1000. And second one would be PG ID. Sorry, the first one was PU ID. And PG ID also remains the same, which is 1000. And then the time zone, which is TZ. Once it's all done, click on deploy the container making sure everything is correct and uh, it might take a couple of minutes deploying the container once it's all ready we can just point to the uh, portainer IP address where the uh, uh, monitor docker is installed and then call in the port number of the application which is in my case it's 9800 once it's all done when you're on the landing page of the monitor dashboard application you can set the time zone and uh, then click on the monitor settings. Since this is the first time, we have to create a data directory or a user database. So we just need to click on create. And then once it's all done, you just need to give a um, username. Email is not required and a password. This is the uh, admin console password wherein we can configure the services. Once it's all done, click on register. And then click on login here. Login with the credentials created. And that's the dashboard main landing page with the service settings. And then click on service configuration if you have to add some stuff. Next, I would be adding the portainer to the dashboard, which is the IP address of the portainer or the uh, VM call on the port 9000 and now we have to give the same thing for both the check URL and the service URL okay. similarly if you need to add any new service you can just click on add service give it a name in this case I'm giving an NJX which is the uh, proxy manager and we have to make sure to give it with the HTTP and the IP address call and port number for both and then you can click on images and then you can upload custom images PNG files and then for the URL just copy that URL and then directly paste there and then click on submit that would be uploading the picture instantly as you can see the preview once that's done click on monitor and then it shows that it's online and if you click on uh, the ng nginx it'll just take up to that side and i've added a couple of other uh, hosted services which were running on my thing already if you can see i've um, i have my uh, nas which is terra master pfsense which is my primary firewall 